Might I have your attention, boys and girls? We've all heard that in the classroom. That's normal. The teacher walks in, addresses the class, calling you boys and girls. And then you pay attention, right? But for Charlotte and Mecklenburg schools, it might become a thing of the past. School leaders made a recommendation that students are not referred to as boys or girls. It's just one of the guidelines laid out in training for the district's new anti-bullying policy. School is no longer about reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's now about gender fluidity. One policy allows students to participate in extracurricular activities and overnight trips based on their gender identity. For example, a student who identifies as a girl would be allowed to participate in an all-girls overnight trip. Anti-bullying guidelines that you guys are, are uh, adopting or have adopted are the result of the radical homosexual agenda. This is Chris Mosier. Morning, Chris. Morning. Chris is the first transgender athlete to make the men's national team. And the first to be in a Nike app. How'd you know you'd be fast enough to compete against men? I didn't! The spot Strong. creating a lot of buzz. Yeah, but how'd you know the team would accept you? I didn't. For the transgender community, the move is groundbreaking. Now I feel like the door has been opened. The ad representing a shift in how people are viewing gender. The ad was produced by Portland-based Wideman Kennedy, but its effects will no doubt be felt across the country. I have been covering conflict for 12 years. I have never experienced anything like Syria. Once I got into the city, I have to say it was just breathtaking. The apocalyptic landscape had become a moonscape. There was nothing but dust, rubble, gray, entire city blocks raised to the ground. You just saw the pictures, buildings, apartment buildings with no walls, still sort of hanging suspended there. As I said before, I've been a war correspondent for more than 10 years. I have been to Iraq, Afghanistan, Gaza, and every terrible conflict that you can think of. I have never seen anything on the scale of Aleppo. Yeah, meteor showers expected to light up the sky tonight. That's right. This particular shower happens every August, but NASA says this year it's going to be bigger than ever. The annual Perseid meteor shower is slated to happen this week. And according to NASA, this month's celestial event may be even more spectacular. The conditions for a public health emergency of international concern. The Zika outbreak made headlines around the world and was declared a public health emergency. In Rio de Janeiro alone, nearly 30,000 suspected cases have been reported so far this year. House declaring a public health emergency in Puerto Rico because of the Zika virus. Britain's public health agency says music may not be the only thing you catch. This year, 234 cases of measles have been linked to festivals and other large public events compared to 54 from the same period last year. Facial recognition technology was put on the map in 2002. It was used during the Super Bowl to scan for any potential criminals in the stands. Since then, the technology has progressed, of course. Now it can even distinguish your emotions. And what better place to test this than at a major political rally? Microsoft clearly felt this way and used it at the recent Democratic and Republican convention. It was terribly dangerous to let your thoughts wander when you were in any public place or within a range of a telescreen. The smallest thing could give you away. A nervous tick, an unconscious look of anxiety, a habit of muttering to yourself, anything that carried with a suggestion of abnormality or having something to hide. In any case, to wear an improper expression on your face was itself a punishable offense. There was even a word for it in Newspeak. Face crime, it was called. George Orwell wrote this in 1949, and back then such scenario would have probably seemed crazy. 
But is it today? In the modern days, facial recognition technology is hardly a surprise to anyone. Initially used by law enforcement to detect criminals going as far back as 2002, now it's more and more used in the world of entertainment and social media. A new technology is now being actively tested by Microsoft, which takes this even further. It's called Real Crowd Insights, and it recognizes your emotions. It can show a whole range of the things you're feeling, from joy and calm to contempt and disgust. Good evening, everyone. It is a touchy subject. How far is too far when it comes to free speech? Some people say what happened at this week's Kenai Peninsula Borough meeting was appalling. Others think it's a little comical. Regardless, it definitely was different and has stirred up a lot of controversy. The meeting opened with a prayer to Lucifer. That which will not bend must break, and that which can be destroyed by truth should never be spared its demise. A symbol that even a routine meeting, it is done, hail Satan, can Thank take you. a turn you'd never expect. Right to that big breaking news out of Milwaukee this morning. There is an increased presence in the neighborhood where that shooting occurred. Looting and even more fires have been reported overnight. As overnight violence erupting in Milwaukee during a protest in response to a deadly officer involved shooting. This is the police. Leave the area. Officers out in full riot gear. People panic, running for cover in the smoke filled streets as the sound of gunshots ring out. This car up in flames. This is the whole gas station. Says several buildings, including a gas station, an auto parts store, and a bank, are torched as hundreds of people flooded the streets Saturday night. Another dry day means we get further away from catching up to normal rainfall. N not for this long that I can remember. You know, I remember rainy summers we've had in the past few years, but not not like not this extended period of time that we're seeing now. Well, normally in this part of the Ipswich River, the water level is about waist deep on me. But today, as you can see, you'd be lucky if you can find small pools of it in this part of the river. Get us an oppressive heat, but the rising mercury is not our only problem. Yeah, if you love spinach or sweet corn in the summertime, you may have noticed a lack of rain. In fact, Right now, Northeast Ohio is officially in a drought. Well, all of Northeast Ohio ranges from abnormally dry to moderate drought conditions, and it's not just our front lawns that are feeling it. Drought continues in western New York, and landscapers are paying the price. News Force Andrew Christopher. I'm only 28 years old, so it's. I can't remember it being this dry ever. It's the worst drought to hit southern Africa in three decades and millions of people are affected. Extreme weather conditions such as drought and floods have increased in frequency and severity in recent years. Good evening, I'm Rena Nine, and at least two people are dead as historic floods slam the deep south. At least two people have died and more than a thousand have been rescued from what is being called unprecedented historic flooding. Rains flooded out businesses and entire neighborhoods. Motorists abandoned their vehicles and homeowners were forced to evacuate. My house is completely flooded and I've never flooded before. Since last night, more than 16 inches of rain has fallen, causing several rivers to overflow. Nearly 70 roads have been closed. Bizarre story out of Clovis tonight. A mother and son are charged with incest, and there's more to this. 36 year old Monica Metis gave her son up for adoption when he was just a baby. That baby is now 19 year old Caleb Peterson. He came back to Clovis as an adult, reconnected with his biological mother, and became romantically involved. The couple told the website they're going public about their relationship because they want to raise awareness about genetic sexual attraction.
I looked at her and she looked at me and I just, I kissed her. It was a real kiss. It was, it had feelings behind it. It, I, I, it had a spark and that ever since then it just, you know, it just stayed. Honestly, I really didn't think we would. We were both consenting adults. If, if uh, it comes down to it, you know, it's just like the gays. They're, they're, you know, as long as they're over 18, everything's fine. You know what I mean? So I thought.